This is today's Market Comment by Jara Labos Pisuros. I'm Cristina Marucos, and thank you for joining us here at XM.com. The yen was the protagonist on Tuesday, coming under some selling interest after the Bank of Japan kept its ultra-loose policy unchanged as expected and lowered its forecasts for core inflation for the fiscal year beginning in April to 2.4 percent. Governor Ueda said that they expect the Japanese economy to pick up moving forward and that the likelihood of achieving their inflation 2 percent objective is gradually rising. He also added that they have heard encouraging comments from big firms on wage hikes and that a policy change is possible even when there is no update to the quarterly outlook. Ueda's comments allowed the yen to stage a solid comeback as investors brought forth their expectations regarding a potential interest rate hike. They are now nearly fully factoring in a 10 basis points hike in June. As for the much-discussed April meeting, the first one after the Shunta wage negotiations, the probability for a hike has gone up to slightly above 60 percent, which means that there is ample room for upside adjustment should upcoming data and speeches by Bank of Japan officials corroborate that view. This could help the yen extend today's recovery. The U.S. dollar was sold across the board today, perhaps on increasing risk appetite after news hit the wires that China is considering a one trillion yuan worth of fiscal stimulus and a similar sized bond stimulus in order to heal its wounded stock market. Chinese stocks rose after the report, while the Aussie and Kiwi rebounded, but suggests that investors are cheering the stimulus plan. However, global money managers said that it will take a long time and more stimulus to repair the property sector, which accounts for nearly a quarter of China's GDP. This means that today's news may not be enough to turn the tide for Chinese equities. All three of Wall Street's main indices extended their gains with the Dow Jones and S&P 500 hitting fresh record highs as high-growth tech firms continue to shine ahead of upcoming corporate earnings releases. Netflix is reporting results today after the closing bell, while tomorrow it will be Tesla's turn. Gold rebounded today, perhaps on benefiting from the dollar slide. That said, with investors notably reducing their bets regarding a March Fed rate cut, it may be hard for today's rebound to evolve into something bigger. Thursday's GDP data and next week's gathering prompt participants to further push back their rate cut expectations. This was today's market comment here at XM.com.